Yeah, uh, good afternoon. This is uh, Bain Bain Ray Hill. Um, yep, yeah, um, I've had a, quite a few comments about who who do I think is the hardest man that I've ever known, yeah? Uh, that I've ever been in prison with. Um, I think the hardest man I've ever been in prison with, in prison with is uh, the dangerous man I've ever been in prison with. It's Tony Lawrence. Tony Lawrence from Fulham. Uh, he was dangerous because I even met Tony Lawrence when I came out of prison, yeah? And in prison, a very, very quiet man. And I thought, you know, it's just quiet. But when I met him outside prison, it doesn't matter now. Uh, rest in peace, Tony. Um, Tony Lawrence is dead. Um, so I won't do him no harm. I'm telling uh, what it is, yeah. But Tony Lawrence is a very, very dangerous man. I mean, I met Tony outside and uh, used to go around his house, uh, guns on the walls, swords on the walls and all that sort of thing. He's the only guy I know that used to drive around with a Smith & Weston Saturday night special, fired shot, and two hand grenades. Two hand grenades. He had someone in Chelsea Barracks, um, he says, that, that is to sell him the hand grenades and things like that. So someone like that is very, very dangerous to drive about that in the motor, yeah? A couple of times I've been in the car with him, and uh, I said, no more. I told him, I said, no matter, I can't be driving around with you with that. That in the car, you know, guns and hand grenades. I said, that's like, that's not mad, you know what I mean? Get yourself in a lot, a lot of shit. So I said, no, I'm not having no more of that. And, and and that was it, really, between me and Tony. I was, you know, done a few things with Tony, nothing really too much, but uh, that was me and him. Um, I couldn't have that more. I couldn't have it no more, but Tony cracked on with his life. Um, Steve and his son told me that he died of cancer, or no, he died of heart attack, sorry. He died of a heart attack. Um, rest in peace, Tony. I like Tony, mate. Tony's a good man to me. Um, another guy in prison that I met, who I see is very, very dangerous, is Pat Adams. Pat Adams is number one, very dangerous. I mean, Pat don't say too much, but he's a dangerous man. I mean, the people that know him, he's very dangerous. I mean, you know, I've met Pat in prison. I met Pat outside. And I know what Pat's like, and, and, and believe me, I know what he's like, um, more so than maybe a lot of people. Uh, Pat, um, Billy Blundell, Billy Blundell, um, dangerous. I mean, he don't care, he didn't care for monkeys and nobody. He don't care, he didn't care for anybody, mate. He was like one powerful, powerful man, very, very dangerous, didn't care who, when, why, where, why, or what, yeah? He didn't care about anybody. You know, and I used to walk around with him, uh, Bill, and uh, Ricky Curley, and uh, hear things, some of the things that Bill's done in his life, and phew, he was telling me about that lot, the Essex boys, and uh, he didn't rate them at all. He said they're up-and-coming uh, thugs that have got to be taught a lesson. All they do is bully, bully, bully. He said, yeah, they're dangerous. Why? Right? He said, anybody's dangerous. Three, four, 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 five handed, but as single people, they're they're nothing, mate. They're nothing, but they begin to take liberties and they take it. They're just being bullies, and whilst I'm in prison, they can carry on doing what they like. When I get out, they got to stop, and they did stop. They had to stop, you know. But it got to the stage that they kept on and on and on later, and look what happened to them. That's that's down to bullying, and you can't be, you know. But as far as I can see that Bill, Billy Blundell, was, uh, yeah, mate, uh, one of the hardest men I've ever known, Bill. Very, very hard. Um, who else? Uh, Eddie Richardson. Oh, what? Devon Kelly Fish, mate. I mean, Eddie, uh, compared with the Clays, I mean, Eddie was um, different altogether. Him and Charlie, I mean, they were called the torturers. They tortured more people than enough. Uh, I think I think uh, Charlie was the judge. Is what I've been told. Charlie was the judge, and uh, Eddie was a, was the prosecution. So you ain't gonna win there, mate. <laughs> you ain't gonna win. You can't win the court. The court is this. Uh, it's crooked, you know. It's crooked. You got Charlie and, and Eddie doing the same thing. And if you ever went in, in front of them, uh, you was in trouble. You got the judge, is Charlie, and the prosecution is. Uh, <laughs> Is uh, <laughs> Eddie not Eddie? Is Eddie? Yeah, he got no chance. He's give up. 
you got to give up. You're going, that cool, mate. It's good night, nurse. You know what I mean? But, you know, I'm going to talk to Eddie and um, a nice geezer, uh, Averson, but hard. You can see he's a very, very old man in his own rights, yeah? Very old man. Jimmy Tibbet. Uh, Jimmy Tibbet. Um, he wasn't so much... Um, Jimmy wasn't, um, as I say, Jimmy's not that dangerous, dangerous, that sort of person, yeah? But dangerous, i.e. that that he will bang you out, yeah? He will bang you out in seconds. I mean, if he hits you, you're going to go. It's all over. Full stop. Forget about it, mate. You're gone. I'm on about people that would, you know, that can have a fight as well, as well as will will, will cut you up and stab you up and shoot you. Jimmy's not into that. Um, Jimmy Tibbet, not into that, mate. Not into that. He was just, um, yeah, listen, everybody, if he's put in the hand at a certain time, and it's like life or death, then they do it themselves. They will do it, obviously. But I'm on about people who it's a 24 hour thing that do it. You know, people that I know. I'm not about people like Moody's and all them who was with uh, the Vicious Sons. I mean, he was a complete psychopath. He was um, he was a hitman, really, wasn't he? I mean, he was a hitman. And, uh, you know, he, he can't say he, he was dangerous. I mean, I should imagine he was the dangerous man. Uh, in, in any gangsterism, uh, uh, Moody, you know what I mean? He was like, bad, mate. He was proper, proper, proper bad. You know what I mean? I mean, the amount of people he's killed, it's unbelievable, you know what I mean? It's unbelievable. I mean, you know, and, and who else? I mean, John, he's, he doesn't even know this person, John McDonough. Uh, John McDonough, a uh, big Irish guy, guy that, I met in, uh, that I met in Albany. Uh, they got on the roof, you know. Got on the roof at Albany. I mean, to do that alone, I mean, he's about six foot six, 18, 19 stone, to climb up the Johnny Pipe um, on the walls of uh, Albany Prison and get on top of the roof, mate. He was like a proper dangerous man in, in, in that respect because he didn't give a monkey's mate. You know, I remember him, to, I, I was in the kitchen with him and uh, in Albany, and I remember him saying, telling me that he's going to go and there was a few people going to go with him up the, up up onto the roof, and uh, John said, listen, any screws get near me, Ray, they're in trouble. You know what I mean? They get stabbed up, mate. I said, no, I'll leave off, and he got a big knife out of the kitchen, and they couldn't find it, so in the end, they give up, yeah? And uh, But John had it on him, and I think he would have uh, plunged a few screws if he got anywhere near him, but they just let it go. They just let him get there. He's too big, man. He ain't going to handle him. You know what I mean? And, you know, and uh, they're proper nice people. I mean, John, I mean, John, he's a proper nice guy. All he wanted to do was get to a prison where he could see his old mum. You know what I mean? He was on the Isle of Wight, you know, and he ain't seen his parents for like, what, nine, eight, nine years? He's done about 12 stretches of a life and he still ain't seen them. Come on, that's a bit over the top, isn't it? Who else? Uh, who else is there, mate? There's, um, what's his name? We've got on the roof and got sunburnt and all that and... Um, Anyway, I was talking about him uh, a long time ago. Um, oh, sorry, mate. You know what I'm like. Uh, names. It comes to me in a minute. It comes to me in a minute. In a minute. But he was, um, I mean, what he'd done, it, it's, it's, I forget about that because I'm stumbling and mumbling. It's making, making, making me right off here. Yeah. But uh, anyway, there's quite a few, there's quite a few nasty people. I've met Nicky Smith. I mean, me and Nicky, I mean, Nicky, I mean, me and Nicky had 15 fights, yeah. About 15 fights, it was going to say with wood, uh, lead pipes, stab me, st run me over the car, uh, it was going to say with scaffold balls, scaffold poles, everything, you know, me and Nicky. Uh, Nicky Smith's one of the guys that we've always, always, I've always and always, and he's always, he's always come to me to beat me up, bash me up, but never succeeded. I've always knocked him out after, <laughs> you know what I mean? All the bashing he's given me, iron bars or whatever he's done, I've always knocked him out after, not, not being big time child of potatoes, but that's what I've done, you know what I mean? I mean, I've been bashed up myself by quite a few people, you know, I ain't gonna say, oh, I can't, can't be bashed up, because you can, you know what I mean? Just a normal person, you know? And, uh, and, and, and I did, you know? Who else is in there when I was in prison that was uh, naughty? There's quite a few, Togi Ludlow, uh, Togi Ludlow, uh, that I know very well, Togi, growing up with Togi, uh, very dangerous, mate. He's always wrapped around people in prison that were nasty, yeah? 
I mean, in Albany, he was crazy. I see him do crazy things. Put one man up, facing up towards the ceiling, another man facing down, tied them up, put them both in the bath. <laughs> the, one, the one at the bottom is trying to get up, and the one at the top don't want to go down. Do you know? So you can imagine what that was like, yeah? And that was for their birthday. And Togi was a complete nutcase. I've seen him stab more people than anybody, even on the street when I was outside. He was stabbing body, but uh, stabbing people, mate. He was mad, completely mad, you know. But he was dangerous. I mean, he was a very, very dangerous person. I mean, come on, how many people out there uh, know people that are in prison who've been away that are very, very dangerous? Eddie Richardson, yes, I told you about Eddie, and you know, uh, I don't know about, I don't know the craze. I don't know the craze. Um, but Richardson, Eddie Richardson, yes. Billy Blundell, yes, hundred percent, mate. Bill, Johnny Critterson, um, he was wrapped around uh, Eddie and Charlie, you know, but he was uh, he was quite dangerous because he used to do some naughty things, uh, Johnny Critterson. Uh, someone commented to me the other day, said it wasn't Johnny Critterson, there's another guy's name, but I know Johnny Critterson was also involved with that sort of thing, yeah. Um, who else? Johnny Patton, that's the guy I was talking about, Johnny Patton, the one that got on the roof. At Albany, Johnny Patton, he just got on the roof to cause aggro. And uh, then he, they chucked him off the roof. There was a last, he was the last one, John Johnny Patton. Uh, got burnt to thing, all his kidneys. They sent him to uh, Parkhurst, uh, got involved with a scar, card school with, with a guy. And uh, Johnny Patton stabbed his guy to death. The guy was going to stab Johnny, Johnny Patton. Johnny Patton got a carving knife and stabbed him to death. And then they put him in a cage um, with the other fellow here. Of Charles Bronson, right next door to him, and uh, Johnny Patton. I don't know if he's out yet, yeah, John, but another one, Peter Lyons. Peter Lyons, mate. Peter Lyons, a Chelsea prison. Mad, mad. Peter Lyons, he stabbed a lot of people when I was in there, mate. He was crazy, and but he was a big lump. I mean, he used to play rugby with me. He was about 19, 20 stone. He had a right fight, but the fighting game, he didn't want to do that. He'd just stab you up, mate. He'd just stab you. Stab you up and wouldn't stop stabbing you. You know what I mean? I was never into that, into that thing. I was never into the stabbing uh, side of things. Maybe hitting someone with something now and again. I've been stabbed quite a few times myself, yeah. Uh, I'm not into that, into that sort of thing. But, I mean, the people I've met in there, I mean, Ronnie Bender, uh, another dangerous person, Ronnie Bender. I mean, Don, Ronnie Bender was in, uh, I think he was in the Marines. Um, I don't know, I think the Special Forces he was in, um, he could have a white fight. Look at Jimmy Tibbet, Jimmy Tibbs in prison. But they're not dangerous people. They're, I mean, they're, they're dangerous in their own little rights. So they can fight. They're, they're, they have a well. They stick together. Jimmy, Johnny, uh, what is it? Johnny, uh, John, Robert, Jimmy, and the old man Tibbs. And the old man Big Jim. I mean, Big Jim. He was a butcher in uh, Chelsea prison. I mean... Imagine him butchering you up. He could chop you to pieces, mate. Don't worry about that in seconds. He was that big old knife, mate. I used to fight the life out of me. When I was going, to, when I was going to butcher's place and nick a bit of meat, I was always worried about he's in a gutter and he cut my leg off. <laughs> oh, Jim, he's a big old like Jimmy too, mate. He was massive, yeah. You wouldn't have fought over with him, mate. He come right unstuck. Uh, I mean, come on. There's, there's a quite a few there. people out there would know other people in prison that they believe were, were very dangerous on comments, give me it, yeah? But I've said a few, I mean, I've only said a few, really. Uh, Billy Blundell, definitely, definitely one of the dangerous ones. Anyway, uh, this is Bang Bang Rahel. Please like and subscribe. So I was starting about a bit. Um, I had a late night. I didn't get in until late, um, and that's it, yeah? Anyway, please uh, like and subscribe. Press the like button and subscribe, and do one some more, yeah? And good evening, yeah? Bye-bye.